two, three, four. Sometimes I'm still blue. It don't matter what I do. All the things that I've done can't help me none. Sometimes I'm still blue. I have seen the rocky mountains. I've stepped in the valleys below. I do not hope they just couldn't stop me doing what I wanted to. Travel this wide world over. I've seen all the things I wanted to see. Old Tim Buck too, but there's something still bothering me. Sometimes I'm still blue, it don't matter what I do. Things that I've done can't help me none. Sometimes I'm still blue. Take it on myself. In Vancouver, two great bear on a freighter to Japan. Played my guitar in the corner bar and got drunk with that Sukiyaki band. Then I wandered down to Southeast Asia, where I heard there was a war going on. The bombs that kept singing my song, still I knew something was wrong. Sometimes I'm still. Sometimes I'm still Adrian. of Cambodia, I fished on a plane in Nepal, I've even been down to Little Bella Town, women don't wear much at all, now I've got a steady job in Toronto, I've got friends that I can talk to, I've got four guitars and a yellow sports car, sometimes I'm still blue. Great to be here at the Lambton House yet again. Okay, not live at the Lambton House, but at least virtually here at Pub Night. And uh, John and I are particularly thrilled to have Adrian and Alyssa join us. Hello. We uh, bumped into them uh, by the Humber River. It was uh, pretty uh, crazy, and we realized that we were all musicians and all connected to the Lambton House. And uh, they're really accomplished musicians, so it's a thrill for us. And uh, Adrian, in fact, is a member of a bluegrass group called the Slocan Ramblers. And I believe they recently won an award, no? Yeah, they won a Canadian Folk Music Award, and they've also been nominated for Juno. Wow, cool, eh?
And, um, you know, when we were walking in here, we noticed this kind of neat smart car in the drive. Is there a story with that? There is, in fact. Well, the smart car belonged to John's late mother, oh, okay. and he's written a song about her. This is my mother, Florence. She died in 97, but her spirit lives on in this smart car. drives a smart car, she used to monofin. In summer she rolls back the top to let the sun shine in. She does some psychotherapy when she is in the mood. She says she'll quit when she gets old, she's only 92. She lives beside the water and swims daily when it's nice. Except for in the winter when it's hard because of ice. But then there are the ice huts where men sit in the dark and fish. She'd like to join them, but is shy. You see, she isn't Irish. No, she's British. Well, not really. But her dad, the dean's from there. She went to Bishop Strong, where she was well prepared to teach phys ed. And when her kids went to school, she hoped that they would learn to be nobody's fool. Some of them, they did, I think. But who am I to say? Who can tell how it'll be if there's a judgment day? So we all do what we can do. Life has no GPS. Just make your way your own way. Give it your best guess. It's a fine life if you're lucky. It's a good life if you're fine. It's a fine life if you're lucky. Hope you're lucky and fine. It's a fine life if you're lucky, it's a good life if you're fine, it's a fine life if you're lucky, I hope you're lucky and fine. So we're going to pack the car now and head on up to our log cabin up in the North Woods and where we'll do the rest of the show. But while we do that, we're going to pass the show over to Adrian and Alyssa, who are going to entertain you while we drive up the highway, because it's a little boring, okay? See you later. Bye.
found it. Welcome to my cow. Well, actually, it's our cow. I uh, shared it with my friends Austin and Jerry. And Austin found it on a canoe trip, a, a fishing trip, one year in back in the 60s. And I've been coming up here ever since 1970. And uh, Julie, they're here. I've got a song here that'll tell you a bit about the Calvin. Oh, you can't see any concrete from the window of my cabin. Can't see any houses, people or their cars. Can't see any factories or smell the vile fumes. Can't hear trucks and buses from afar. I can see a pine tree and a tall spruce over there. And the blue jay sounds call from time to time. And the river whispers gently along the rocks just down below. And the fragrance of the woods soothes my mind. At my home, in the country, there's no place I'd rather be. At my home, in the country, I can sit right down and be at ease. Hear the wind soft in the trees, live my life the way I please. Oh, you can't walk to the corner store to buy a magazine. Can't get drinking water from the top. Don't have a shower, can't fill the bathroom tub. Don't have a heating thermostat. But you know the news these days isn't really news, it's old. When I get thirsty, I walk to the stream. And I can fire up the sauna and then take that herb of lunch. Watch the air and be steam. My home, my home in the country. There's no place I'd rather be. At my home, at my home in the country. I can sit right down and be at ease. Hear the wind soft in the trees. Live my life the way I please. Oh, you don't have electricity, so we can't watch the TV. But I don't think I'm missing much at all. Telephone don't ring, and the mailman don't ring, letters from folks who didn't call. But I'd rather read a book than watch a TV show, and sit and talk with somebody I know. Let the wine and conversation warm us through and through, as we sit together in the fire's glow. At our home, in the country, there's no place we'd rather be. At our home, in the country, we can sit right down and be at ease, hear the wind soft in the trees, live our lives the way we please. At our home, in the country, there's no place we'd rather be. At our home, in the country, we can sit right down and be at ease, hear the wind soft in the trees, live our lives the way we please. Yes, we can sit right down and be at ease, hear the wind soft in the trees, live our lives the way we please. Oh, there, there. <laughs> City life has its stresses. This cabin has always been a calming refuge for me. It's one of the more peaceful places I know. Sun on the river, sparkling ripples, whispering down through the trees. High on a rocky ledge, breeze in my hair. Letting my mind be at ease Just letting my mind be at ease Canoe on dark water Gliding so gently Rocks passing silent below. Water 
very abstract Broken reflections Spiders that dance to and fro Just let those worries go I need to have a peaceful place high above you can join up the points make your own picture that way flames from the fire warming our bodies taking our thoughts far away just taking our thoughts far away The cabin is a good place to think. Sometimes I put my thoughts in the cabin logbook, and sometimes they turn into songs. A few of my favorite songwriters write about their home state of Texas, but I'm not from Texas. I'm from here. So I write about here. People who live in Texas proud of their home state they sing about their cowboys out riding that open range the road laws are the heroes but if you're not from there the sentiments are borrowed you just can't compare the blue ridge mountains west virginia colorado rockies hotel california Know the songs they make us feel We are from there too If you're not but feel you ought to What else can you do? You could write a song about where you're from Or support someone you can Trying to be somewhere you're not Put you in a jam Proud to be from Canada Live in Ontario I like to have four seasons I don't mind the snow. Halliburton Highlands, the air is crisp and clear. Swimming on Muskoka Lake, better than cold beer. The skyline of Toronto, caught by the setting sun. It's home to me and where I'll be when the day is done. From. Let's take a local stand, find our inspiration, those who opened up this land. Wear your tooth with pride, wherever you may be. It's our home and native land, it's my favorite country. It's our home and native land, it's my favorite country. Back in the 70s, I went on a canoe trip with some friends to Quetico Park. On the way up, the driver took a nap, and we flipped the car into a ditch with a bit of water in it beside the road. The canoe saved us from any injury at all. It didn't save itself or the car 
or the truck. This is the story of how I got another canoe. I went down to the Outfitters. I was looking for a new canoe. They didn't have one, said they wouldn't have none. So I sat and talked with Peggy Sue. She said, I know a man just lives down the road about a mile this side of Dwight. He's been building canoes about 50 years, and by God, he builds them right. Old Clarence Bowes is a mountain of a man. It ain't to size that I mean. Cause he's stuffed and a mean old grizzly bear But he's softer than a mess of beans He's softer than a mess of beans Now there wasn't a sign, just his name on the box that stood at the end of his lane But people who want a real good canoe They seem to find him just the same He does his work with a pride and a care That is rare in a world that runs right on time he parts with his work for far less than it's worth. A man like that is hard to find. Old Clarence Bowles is a mountain of a man. It ain't just his size that I mean. Cause he's tougher than a mean old grizzly bear. But he's softer than a mess of beans. He's softer than a mess of beans. So I bugged him to let me work with him. And he gave me a job to do. But I had to learn by watching and trying, because that's the way he had done too. Then he let me start up a canoe of my own, though he grumbled when I worked too slow. Later at night, if his mood was right, I'd strum, he'd fiddle that bow. Old Clarence Bowes is a mountain of a man. It ain't just size that I mean, because he's tougher than a mean old grizzly bear, but he's softer than a mess of beans. He's softer than a mess of beans. Clarence is a man about twice my size, and he's lived about twice as long. And he's stories to tell about the hard times he's had, never knowing your folks makes you strong. But inside that hard shell, there's a hell of a well of loneliness and a lot of pain and accepting the giving and getting the feelings that he never got. Folks is a mountain of a man. It ain't just his size that I mean. Cause he's stuffed than a mean old grizzly bear, but he's softer than a mess of beans. He's softer than a mess of beans. Yeah, old Clarence Bowes is a mountain of a man. It ain't just his size that I mean. Cause he's stuffed than a mean old grizzly bear, but he's softer than a mess of beans. He's softer than a mess of beans. Well, you can't always tell what he means. Things ain't always quite like they seem. You got look for the pork in the beans. Now, this song has developed a bit of a history of its own. John shared a copy of the lyrics with Clarence, who framed it and hung it in his home. John also gave a copy to Peggy, who had introduced him to Clarence, and she hung it in the bathroom at, El, at her Algonquin Outfitters store near Algonquin Park. Apparently it hung there for a number of years. Now, you can hear Clarence Bogues on the website of Brian Cook, our stem cell researcher to canoe builder friend, whom we met through the song. Brian works out of Clarence's old workshop, where he blends the traditional cedar strip canvas canoe building technique with his own more modern and unique designs. Check out his website. It's 6.30 in the morning and we're in the middle of a heat wave, but we woke up this morning and it was 10 degrees and there was a red squirrel running around in the living room at the cabin. 
weird. Anyway, so here we are out on the deck, and I've just discovered something new. I, my hair has never been this long and crazy, but because of COVID, I haven't had it cut. And I've learned that when you pull your hair down over your eyes, which I normally can't do, and, and you look at the straight at the sun, your hair makes these beautiful strands of colors and wispiness and gives you a whole different view of the world and a whole different view of long hair. So there's lots still to be learned and discovered and enjoyed. Good morning, everyone. Here's John having his morning coffee with the camera looking right into the sun, which we're not supposed to do, but the halo around him is his COVID hair. He just looks angelic. Morning, John. <laughs> Things could be better. They could be worse. Half empty or half full, it's your choice. But all in all, whatever they say, I'm glad to be alive today. I'm lucky. Life is good. It's a good life. Some people don't have enough to eat. There's trouble in the Middle East. So look around and you will see. This is a pretty good place to be. We're lucky. Life is good. It's a good life. You can find lots of things to complain about. I know I can too. But despite the fact that things might not always turn out the way you want. Life is pretty good. It's a good life. I used to keep a canoe right under this tree. I loved to go for a ride up the river, particularly in the early morning. Came up to the cabin one time, and when I came down from my ride, I couldn't. Two, three, four. Somebody stole my canoe. Wasn't a very nice thing to do. Don't understand, but it's true. Somebody stole my canoe Wasn't much to look at Just a scratched and faded blue Aluminum gunnels Pretty heavy too Kept it at my cabin Chained up to a tree I'd paddle up the river Just to see what I could see But somebody stole my canoe Wasn't very Nice thing to do Don't understand But it's true Somebody stole my canoe Early morning coffee Just me and that canoe we Slide up through the morning mist It's what we like to do Listen to the birds And maybe see it here That canoe was like an old friend But now it isn't here 
Cause somebody stole my canoe Wasn't a very nice thing to do Don't understand, but it's true Somebody stole my canoe Up in the middle of the night, or drift off down the river in the broad daylight. You cut that heavy chain, so I know you planned it too. You know you took more from me than just that old canoe. Somebody stole my canoe. Wasn't a very nice thing to do. Don't understand, but it's true. I like to swim clear northern water, hear the mournful call of the loon. Play my guitar round the fire in the evening. Count shooting stars out of the moon. Northern summer, northern summer. It's a northern summer again. A mist covered lake in the cool of the morning. Fresh caught truck, right into the pan. Sun coming up, looks like a good one. Another fine day out on this land. Northern summer, northern summer, northern summer again. Flash of the paddle, smell of the pine, on the rocky point. Sun on my back, you here beside me, everything is Our time together is almost up, but we can't have you visit the cabin without offering you a canoe ride early in the morning upriver. So it's about 6 a.m. and we're just about ready to go. So grab a life jacket and hop in. Adrian and Alyssa will be joining us in spirit and through their music.